Hey everyone. It is a beautiful sunny 68 degrees this afternoon and you wouldn't know it but this morning we had torrential rains and you know what that means? That means it's a good time to go to an estate sale. So knowing what the weather was going to be like I, I looked through all the estate sale listings and found one with a toolbox and it's a red and gray craftsman probably 1960s and you know I love those and loaded with tools so I figured I'm gonna go. Got to the estate sale at 7.30 this morning. There was no one there, walked around. They it looked like they were getting pretty exasperated by 8, 8.30 after I kind of figured out what I wanted and um, made them an offer on the toolbox. So I got it for 200 bucks. Let's see what I got. All right, so here's the box. Um, I didn't unload all the drawers and put them into storage bins because this box is the type that the drawers come out easy. And some of these drawers were just so full of random junk that I figured it'd probably be easier to just take a couple of drawers out, which is what I did. So let me put these down. <clears throat> this drawer in particular is nothing but hardware, fasteners, door hinges, all sorts of stuff. Um, I didn't unload it into anything. Pretty much everything else is in storage bins. So let's get the boxes out. So there's the box set. It's pretty good. I mean, I love this style. This is the style my father had when I was growing up. He had this, like, pretty much this exact same box. We're gonna do a video where we're gonna restore this box. It's pretty rusty. And uh, not, not that difficult to restore though. But uh, next step is I'm gonna take everything out of the truck. I'm gonna set it up on the workbench over there and we're gonna sort through it and see what we've got hopefully we got some real gems I'll give you a close-up of these two drawers um, offhand I didn't see anything particularly interesting in them it's just mostly fasteners so I will unload these into a bin somewhere some relays electrical parts that looks like an air cleaner uh, nut, wing nut. Possibly a uh, Dodge, I don't know. Spicer, USA, back. This might be more fun to go through this than I thought. Because <clears throat> it seems like there's a lot of really weird things in here. All right, and the other drawer that I did not unload is this. Your files. This is... Huh. Awatana Tool Company made in USA. Some very long spade bits. Craftsman punches. That's a craftsman punch, that's cool. And files, that's about it. Nothing, nothing particular, particularly interesting in here. That is a handmade thingamajig. That is a really interesting handmade tool. That's an interesting file. Depends on what you do. You may find this stuff more interesting than I do. 
Reynolds Metals Company file. All right, let's get to the crates and all the other stuff. All right, so um, it doesn't look like quite as much as what was in the other toolboxes. It's gonna be a very different haul though. Um, there were some gems though, I forgot to even talk about this, is I also got, this is a skill, and that is a quarter cable. And uh, I don't know if they work, I'm pretty sure this does not. That switch is definitely faulty. I don't know if this works, the cable is chewed up, which may be why it was retired. Uh, I don't know, I don't even know if it was retired. The cable's chewed up here and in here. Um, so you know I'll be working on those. I don't usually get old power tools with a toolbox. Um, I got some drill bits here, some, I guess that's a stapler. Yeah, stapler with power cord. And uh, look, I got another stapler. Yep, another stapler nailer. Um, this looks complete, even has the manual and everything. I got a proto box, which I'm hoping there's more to it than that. Because um, I think most of these were actually proto. So that'd be a cool set to have. Um, this is just the random stuff that was in drawers that I just threw in. I got a whole bunch of uh, battery terminals, a DeWalt blade, which I'm sure I'll use that, a seven and a quarter. Um, don't know what this is. This is miscellaneous electrical stuff. More drill bits. Vermont American drill bits. Good stuff. A good clamp missing this piece, unfortunately, but still a good clamp. And this is cool. There were actually some books in the toolbox. Um, Tune-up specifications. So I'm not sure when this book came out, but we see 1977. 1973, 69, so this book probably came out in 77. Pretty cool. A Pinto do-it-yourself manual. Revised edition. Looks like there's more than one. Don't know if I'll ever use those. Oh, oh there's three. I guess this guy was into Pintos. Valuable information. Tools and how to use them. So, for someone that has a Pinto, I guess that would be valuable. I don't have a Pinto. I don't think I ever will have a Pinto. But I know my brother's worked on Pintos. You may want those. All right, so there's also all this other miscellaneous stuff. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find a set. Let's see what we've got. All right, I am going to be very optimistic. Oh, I also got these chemicals. I, this stuff I use all the time. This is just penetrating oil. I don't know if they're any good. I didn't spray them yet, but. Um, I'm going to be optimistic, and I'm going to put the Proto set over there. And I'm going to just hope that I come across something that's useful. All right. The first bin is where most of the sockets and wrenches are. Let me get this stuff out of the way. This will be fun to work on, this guy. Oh, well, this even has the key. Is that the right key? Looks like it. Wow. Wow. This is an old school heavy duty half inch. 450 RPMs. Slow going for a drill. Oh, another. I got another key. All right. Um, so, fuel system basics, brand new from Ford. This guy was obviously a Ford guy. Still in the factory bag. How cool is that? There's two books in here. Not sure what the other one is. Um, a dwell meter. Looks a bit tattered, but you never know. That stuff was built to last. It's a uh, tracking stone. An inspection certificate. Inspection of what? Tacoma, Washington. Hmm. 
Triple spur geared chain block. Yep, okay. I don't know what all that is. There's a lot of random sockets and things in this one. This is the most interesting for me. Oh, we got another engine diagnostic gauge. And a Senko staple, an air staple gun. Well. Going through this bin here is going to take some time. This is most of the cars. Look at this. One and five sixteenths Craftsman. One and one quarter SK and one Craftsman. Big Craftsman. Ooh. Boy, you get a lot of these when you go through toolbox. A lot of Allens. Six piece hand and impact tool set from Craftsman. Three, four pieces still in the package. Oil filter wrench that has clearly seen some use. Unfortunately on new cars, you know, the filters are up. So these aren't particularly useful anymore. There are a lot more sockets than I remember. Because I was emptying drawers out individually. Oh, this is cool. This is a side handle for a drill. I can always use those. As I said, I think this is going to take me a bit to go through. There are a lot. Another drill key. P-L-O-M-B. You don't see many of these guys around. Let's start going through it and seeing what we've got. <laughs> Look at this screwdriver. Have you ever seen one like that? Wow. I'm putting that in my keep pile. All right, so uh, let's get the wrenches out first. Let's separate them out. A lot of craftsmen. SK. Well, wow, interesting. SK. Craftsman. True Craft Japan. That's donation bin. Craftsman. V Ratchet. Is it any good? Yeah, seems to work. All right, I'll put that there. New Britain, all right, where Plum goes. I think there's gonna be a lot of craftsmen and everybody else, it'll be somebody else, something else. Except for SK, I do recall seeing SK in there. Craftsman. Oh, a proto, all right. Well, I'm gonna just put it with the proto sockets. Herbrand, that's funny. 
That's really interesting. I found a Herbrand in the last toolbox. Action. Okay. Don't know. Don't have a set of those. Craftsman. V. Barn. Craftsman. A lot of craftsmen. Remember in the um, Spartan box, I commented how there was no craftsmen in it. It just seemed so unusual. There wasn't none, but there was virtually none. This is more common. You find all sorts of random craftsmen in the sets. Wow, that is a broken wrench. It's an old craftsman. Broken. Ah, broken SK. What a crime. Made in West Germany. Craftsman. Okay, good. Finding some SKs. Hand hand bent. VL check. I don't know who that is. It does not say where it's made, but eh. somebody went to the trouble of bending that. I'll keep it. There's a timing wrench. Indestro. Good stuff. SK. Well, I'd love to find a lot of SK in this. In this. This has got to be Craftsman, Craftsman. Craftsman, Craftsman, Craftsman. Okay, we are finding SK. Vermont American, keep that. Here's a Craftsman. That's socket, so let me focus on wrenches. I'm getting distracted. Giller. 11 sixteenths Giller. India. India. I've heard some people say that the tools in, from India are actually worse than China. Don't know, and hopefully I never have to find out. This is a made in USA, no brand name. Oh, there's a Craftsman ratchet, little quarter inch. Works. Again. Interesting. Par X. Don't know. Box wall. Wow, this guy has a Brazil. This guy's got quite an odd collection of Herbrand wrenches. That's China. Craftsman. 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 Industrial. If I do this enough times, I should be able to build sets of all of these brands where I find one or two here and there. Because it seems I do find a lot of random. This is made in USA Armstrong. India. SK. Bark a lot. Bark a low. Another brand I've never heard of. One inch custom Taiwan wrench. No 
Okay. Who made this? China. Yeah. This just says Eclipse. Does not say where it's made. That's a craftsman. Allied. SK, great. This says made in USA, three ace doesn't say by home. Electrolyte, SK. Huh. Some big heavy hitters here. Craftsman, one inch. SK. Craftsman. Pens Corp. Armstrong. Plum. Second plum. True fit. Wait, didn't we say electrolyte was SK? Yep, electrolyte is SK. That's SK as well. I don't know who this is, but it's USA. All right, another wrench. SK. Good SK. Good SK haul. Perhaps me. Mm -hmm. Tubing wrench uh, for brake lines or something. Certainly, if you're from up north, you probably have done brake lines. Mm -hmm. Barcolo again. Here's an adjustable. Williams. Alright, is that all the wrenches? Nope, there's another one hiding here. A couple more. going to do is let's put all the craftsmen's here oh, that's cool this is craftsman oh this is good this is good craftsman bit driver sometimes you get sets and those are always missing and if you're trying to build a set you'll have trouble finding an actual craftsman one of those here's a craftsman file in the package that's cool. All right, what do we got here? Made in Taiwan ratchet. I'll put that in the donate instant donation bin. Oh, here is a Craftsman V series patent number 1971, but uh, it has obviously broken and it's just pieces. I don't know what to do with that. Craftsman 3 ace breaker bar. Looks straight. Industrial. Eastco. Here's a half inch Eastco ratchet, and it works. All right, we'll put that here. Because I'm sure we're going to find a lot of random sockets that don't have a home with either Craftsman or SK. All right, let's quickly go through the sockets and see what we've got. Proto, I got a Proto socket. It's good. Plom socket. It's wild to find that stuff. 
Taiwan socket. Proto. Proto. May, we may get lucky. Maybe there is a Proto set. Oh, here's an SK. I need an SK three quarter, but that's an 11 16. That is an old craftsman. Here's an SK. That is a craftsman. Barn. I don't know. Barn, I guess. That's a pretty nice craftsman three quarter. Old craftsman. Blackhawk, so cool. I'm gonna try to build a Blackhawk set. This is an interesting one. It says three quarter on it. I have no idea who makes it. So I'm just gonna put in a random USA. SK, not an SK, no. Industrial. Billings, Lifetime, Made in USA. What do we got left? We got an extension and a couple sockets left. And we've pretty much eaten through all of those. Oh, look at this, a full set of Craftsman. I think they're Craftsman. Ignition. All right, that's uh, junk. Craftsman, Craftsman. New Britain, Craftsman, is this metric? Oop. Frodo, Billings, SK, Craftsman, and Farm. Very old Craftsman. That is a USA someone. I don't know. I don't know what that symbol is. Maybe, I'll give you a close up. Maybe you can identify it. I don't know who this is. Does that look familiar? I can't tell if it's focusing on it, but I'll take a photo of it and insert the photo. Don't know who it is, but it looks the USA. So. So I'll put it with the random USA. And we just have another craftsman file. Let's see what's in here. This looks like it belonged to some sort of set. That says Japan, Fuller. Interesting, are these all Fuller? That's Williams. Thorson. This is SK. No, I don't know what this is. A little too rusty to read it. It's USA. It's a snap on. Oh, whoa. Whoa. I got a snap on in this set. What the hell? Glad I didn't get rid of that guy. Put it on eBay and pay my mortgage. I think this is a snap-on as well, but it's hard to tell. It's quite uh, rusty. Oh, a broken extension, that goes in the scrap. And we got a broken wrench and random nuts. Yep. 
Proto, oh look at that. Didn't even notice that. So we got a big Proto case and a small Proto case. Wouldn't it be cool if I could fill both sets? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you never run out of those things. All right. <laughs> some, we got some clamps. Don't know who makes them. But I use stuff like that quite often. Want another battery terminal to go with my whole set. Another drill key. You know, I tell you. I go through a lot of those. All right. Let's see what's in the last set. And I pulled this stuff out right off the top. It's a proto wrench. This is a Proto wrench. And this is, looks, this, this looks like Proto. This is Proto. Proto socket wrench. Okay, we may have a full Proto set there. I don't see a breaker bar. Proto and Proto. Those are both the same. All right. All right, let me put all the Craftsman sockets down here. This was, um, a lot of random stuff that I just pulled out of the drawers. I don't know why this thing does not stay open. But... So we got some hoses, gauges, put that stuff down, tubes, vacuum gauge, oil pressure gauge. I wonder who that was from. A compression tester, another compression tester it looks like and a vacuum gauge, a flashlight, bottle openers, let's see what this thing is. Holochrome, Hartford, Connecticut. <laughs> X keys. <laughs> Another drill key. Alright, I think that pretty much taps us out. This is a Black and Decker drill key. And we've got Par X. Don't know who they are. Barn. Don't know. Drop Forge made in USA. Don't see a brand. Taiwan. All right, I think that pretty much does it. All right, let's take stock. I got random stuff, chemicals, broken things, drill bits. Did get two oil cans, which is cool. Although I don't remember where the other one is. I know I got two of them. Um, these are miscellaneous USA wrenches. This is all foreign stuff. That's all Proto, which is cool. I think I'm gonna get a set. That's all SK, including these wrenches. This is uh, random USA sockets. And this is, this is Proto, I think, yeah, that's, that's okay. And this is all my Craftsman stuff. So I got a bunch of sockets. I got two wrenches, three eighths and one quarter. Um, the half inch wrench is this guy, the Cisco, which is actually a really nice made in USA uh, wrench. I don't know what error it's from, but it really feels nice, like high quality. Uh, I got a few drill keys, which is, important because I restore drills and I will be restoring that drill and that saw. Handful of screwdrivers, bunch of craftsman wrenches. All right, so the big thing is, do we have a set of Proto or two sets because there was a second holder for them. So I'm going to take a few minutes and put these guys in order and see what we've got. So here's what I've got. Here's the small set, metrics. I found more than I expected. It's missing two. It is missing 
the 12 millimeter and the nine millimeter. So if I find a 12 and a nine millimeter proto, I've got that set complete. This set on the other hand, um, no such luck. It's mostly duplicates. I've got a good linear path there, but um, I don't have a whole set by any stretch. So still gotta work on that. I have some other protos around that I'll have to dig up and see if any of them will go with this set. But that's the joy of this. You find toolboxes, you go through them and you start putting the sets together. That is a set I could put together. I'm sure I'll find these two. I just have to write down everything I'm looking for. I keep it in my notes. And when I see random buckets of sockets at flea markets, I'll grab them and I'll see what I can find. So this set, there's probably enough room in here for me to keep the metric set in here. All right, so I guess that's pretty much it. I got now. I have now the enviable task of trying to find a home for all this stuff that I'm keeping, which honestly, it's it's a lot of the craftsmen I'm keeping. Uh, I've got to build, see what I have for these random sockets and SKs to build sets, and then uh, that's it. You'll recall in my video on evapor rust. Um, where I compared it to navel jelly and talked about benefits. We're gonna see one of the real benefits to it right now because a lot of these proto especially sockets that I got here are rusty, pretty rusty. Um, most of the Craftsman's good. This SK is bad. So um, here's my used several times uh, solution and we're gonna just throw all these sockets in there let them sit overnight and that'll take the rust off of them in fact I want to throw a lot of random stuff in here mostly though I want to de-rust all these protos because oddly some of them are quite rusty and others are fine. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to just throw the whole set in there. I don't know that I need to throw the ratchet in there. He's rusty. That's in there. That's in there. These wrenches aren't particularly rusty. This extension's rusty. All right, this this looks um, dirtier than it should, but that's because I've used this several times, and that's why the solution is dirty. It generally out of the bottle. It's it's pretty transparent. Okay, when I talk about going through these toolboxes to build old sets. I got this box with a bunch of random sockets at the flea market um, several months ago. And so here's where we're at. All right, so this is not the correct driver, but this one is much closer. It's a Craftsman, okay? Um, I'm still missing a few sockets. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so I do have one. 10. Any other deeps? Some very small deep sockets. I don't think any of these will go with this set. Not this time. Nope. So I need an 18 mil and a 13. So I got one or two. And then I need an 11 16 and three quarter. I do need a three quarter. Here's a craftsman three quarter. And did I have an 11 sixteenths? I don't know. 11 sixteenths. Okay, okay. So I, I got to read these bottoms. So look at that. I've now got that whole row. Missing one quarter inch. There And yeah, they, they aren't an exact match for the set. But they're pretty close. 
yeah i don't i don't have a small socket but not bad so now i'm missing two four five sockets six sockets out of the whole thing well that is a 16 mil did we get a 17 mil three quarter nope doesn't look like we've got that oh well we we did pretty good though so gradually over time I'm putting this entire set together. I found, I don't have the uh, hex heads. I mean, that's what would go in here. And a couple of these bits are missing. I don't really focus on that. If I'm gonna give this set to a budding mechanic, uh, it has to be complete with the sockets. So I'm almost there. All right, let's put these drawers back in. In part two, I will show you how easy it is to remove these drawers. But for now, we're just going to put this back together. That's all you have to do to put the doors back in. And once you push it through, this fastener locks it. I forgot to mention one really fascinating thing about this box is it apparently has the keys. I believe these, this key is marked Craftsman, uh, locks this thing. I don't know which lock it actually activates. Well, that, that activates that. And, and that's not that key. This one says Sears. Nope. Yeah. So these these two. I don't know what the other two keys are for, but these two keys are for this toolbox. How cool is that? All right, it's been a uh, full 24 hours. The evapor rust is considerably blacker. I'm gonna, uh, just rinse everything off. Get the big stuff out of the way first. Obviously, I only did half of these wrenches because they don't fit in here. But right, let's see. Let's see my sockets. Oh. Nice, they came out. Pretty cool, huh? There's that snap on one. Yeah, now you can read snap on pretty easily off of it. Look at what this one did. The whole this must have been pretty rusty. I don't remember. But the whole top turned back. That's interesting. Must have had a lot of rust on it. That's the BHS Industro spark plug socket. What's up, Mr. T? I got Mr. T here. Mr. T is technically the neighbor's cat. But he sees this as a cat-friendly home. So if he comes by. All right, I got it pour this back into the container with a small filter to kind of take out the rust debris and then I can use it again. All right, so that's it for part one. I've got everything out, sorted through it, found some valuable stuff, found a lot of stuff that's eh, but really this, this box was unique because it was just so random. I found parts of Proto, parts of Williams, parts of her brand, a lot of craftsmen, which is to be expected. Um, 
some SK, more than I usually find, which is good. Um, I was able to put a few pieces back with that Craftsman set. I've got a few wrench sets that I found spare parts to that I needed. So overall, pretty good. But mainly, I bought it for the box. I want to donate a lot of this stuff out and uh, help help some kids build some sets. But um, we're going to get to restoring this box probably next weekend when I have time. And I'll show you really all that goes into it and we can get this thing looking like new. All right. So if it's raining out and it's an estate sale, you probably get a good deal. Don't be intimidated. Just go out, get busy. Take care.